What really matters for today, your friend Rodney here, in Ephesus, people were passionate about maintaining the prestige of their goddess Artemis. Paul addresses this issue in the book of Ephesians. The silversmiths knew if people started believing in Paul's God instead of the man-made idol, then they would lose their income. While silver statues may not be the objects of our affection today, we have plenty of false gods. One of our most prevalent gods is the unquenchable desire for more. Jesus understood the pull that stuff can have in our hearts. He warned His followers saying, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he'll be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Matthew 6 and verse 24. What does it mean to value God more than material possessions? I hope you can answer that question in a way that is honoring of the God of heaven. And that's what really matters for today in a minute from the Church of Christ that meets in Leoma, Tennessee.